Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best centers in NBA 2K23, my team, here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. We're less than 100 subscribers away, and I'm trying to get, get hit that mark within the next couple of days, if at all possible. With that being said, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Start Starting off with number, or the first card is going to be Arvidas Sabonis. There's only like 18 cards on this center tier list. If there's any players I left off, by the way, and you want to know what I think of them, feel free to leave a comment. I'll let you know. But for a guy like, for a list like this, you're only going to have like four cards per tier. I feel like Sabonis is a A tier center, not an S tier guy, because his release is bad. That's my main reason. He's also not crazy fast. He's certainly quick enough, especially uh, the hero version who has some something like mid 70s speed. I think this card is very good. He's 7'3". He can get paint stops. His player build is massive. He's a really, really good card at the center position. And he shoots the ball well. He's a good, obviously an incredible passer, all that stuff. I just think... I don't know. I feel like A tier is the fairest spot to put Sabonis. Can't quite justify him in S tier, in my opinion. Boban, I think, has to go D tier simply because he's 25 speed. This Boban could have been one of the great budget uh, Yao taco stoppers when he first came out, which was like almost a month ago at this point. But at 7'4", you just, even at that size, you can't be 25 speed, 25 excel, 35 lateral quickness. You just can't do it. You're unplayable. 70 shot three with a bad release. I mean, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. He would have actually been very usable for this time if he had 50, 60 speed. But with 25 speed it's just too slow it's not gonna work there might be more than uh, four guys in d tier we'll see but i think chris Kamen has to go d tier as well he just doesn't do anything on the court super well unfortunately he's he's kind of a pretty mid card at this point he is seven foot so he's got decent size but a little bit of a short wingspan at only 6 11 mainly an interior guy has decent ish speed and can shoot the ball decently well but his release isn't incredible he does not move well at all He's just not that good, to be honest. Got to go D tier with him as well. I think uh, D Rob is probably A tier. He's like borderline S, but I think you got to go A for D Rob simply because he's only seven foot one. Um, he is still an amazing card, though. Moves really well. Has really nice sigs. Um, is a great, great shooter as well with a really good release. I think he's a great, great card. Big, big fan for sure of what D Rob can give you. I just there's a lot of good centers. I, I think you got to go S A tier for him. S tier is going to be uh, Dikembe for me. I think he's definitely an S tier center. He's a top four center in the game for me, in my opinion. Really, really big fan of the card. Um, like his release. I like the size. I love the defense. I love the fact that he moves well and he's got good speed. I like a lot about the card, to be completely honest. And I think it's really fair to put him in the S tier. I'm going to put Odin B tier. I, I think that's the fairest spot to put Greg Odin. Um, he is seven foot. He plays bigger than seven foot. His player build is really nice, but his release is not incredible. He's not the greatest like shot creator type card in the world he's a good card he's just not incredible so i think you gotta go b tier with him another guy who's like borderline a borderline b is gonna be hakeem for me i think i'm gonna go a for hakeem because even though i don't love his release he is a very very good all-around card with super complete badges um he does have an acceptable release i think he's a very solid card i just I don't know. A tier, I can't quite justify anything higher than that. I almost would argue B tier is close, but not going to do that. This Embiid card, his release stinks, and I don't like the card that much. I just don't think Embiid, except for 2K21, has really been that good in my team the last couple of years. He's got good speed. He's a very good defender. His stats are incredible. He's got every single defensive half. His movement is good. His release just blows. He has Trey Fade, but his release blows. Now, everything except for the release is really good, but that release is just pretty hideous in my opinion. I'm not putting him higher than B tier. Card really disappointed me, to be completely honest. I think Kareem, if we're going to have four guys in S tier, Kareem is the one for me who's really, really borderline because I don't think he's better than Dikembe. I can't quite put him S. I, don't, I could, no, I'm putting him A. I'm sorry. There's three guys that I want to put over him in S, and one of them might be controversial, but for me, Kareem, I just... I don't like the release enough to put him S, man. He's such a good card. He moves so well. He's a point center in a lot of ways. He can shoot the ball well enough. He's a very, very capable card. I just think there's one guy that I want to put over him in S tier in addition to two other pretty obvious guys who I think are slightly better than him. So for me, got to go A tier. Cat's going to go C. He's a little undersized. He doesn't have the greatest release in the world, but he can shoot the ball pretty well, moves well, pretty complete card, just not the best animations in the world and a little bit undersized. Uh, KP's an S tier. This one's not a, not a debate in my opinion. I think he's phenomenal. I really like this card a lot. Uh, seven foot three elite re or not elite release but really good release um good player build gets stops in the paint pretty consistently against guys like Yao. he is a monster at the center position really really good card mark eaton can't shoot the ball at all that's why he's going d tier outside of that he's not bad he's even got decent speed but he literally can't shoot he can't even really shoot mid-rangers just just not a good enough card to play in my opinion that's a d tier guy Yao is s i don't even really think i need to tell you all why he's the most dominant inside force at the center position in the game still staying dunk central 
incredible rim protector, rebounds ridiculously, can shoot the ball, has 80 speed, which is just dumb. Why does he have 80 speed, and why did this card come out in January? I will continue to repeat it. He's been the best center in the game for three months. It's stupid. I don't get it, but he's an S-tier card, no doubt about it. Mo Bamba, I think, has to go B tier. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to go... I'm going to go B, I think. I think I got to go B for Mobamba. He's just... I like the release. I don't love the release. He's not the biggest card in the world, but his stats and badges are pretty good. He's a nice budget center. I think he's honestly a very, very solid card going B tier. Peter's going to be my last S tier guy. I think this is one that you could debate. You could take D-Rub over him. You could take Kareem over him. You could take Sabonis over him. All three of those guys, you could take over him, and I wouldn't totally tell you you're wrong. For me personally, I just like the fact that Peter has the best release of all those guys, in my opinion, and he's 7'2". He's got a much better player build as well, I feel like, than D-Rob does. Looks bigger than 7'2". He looks Kareem, and he looks Arvita's size, to be completely honest. He's a very very big center a very very big seven foot two and i think that's super valuable in addition to having my favorite release of this group outside of maybe d-rob who's a little undersized i would say undersized but i just think peter plays bigger than d-rob does i'm really really high on this peter's card he's still my backup or he's actually my starting center because i'm bringing you off the bench because i'm not playing taco and Yao together but i think he's s tier i really do uh, Shaq is going to go C tier because he can't shoot. I mean, he's got a 63 ball and a bad release. He does everything else incredibly well. He can shoot. He's good enough to not be D tier, but he's not a good card at the center position, in my opinion, especially for his price. Sim is bad because he can't shoot and he's slow. He might be the worst center on this list. I mean, you could argue he's worse than guys like Bowen and Mark Eaton. I don't think he's good. I think he's definitely D tier. And then Wilt is going to have to go B tier for me. I'm going to have, I'm only going to have two guys in C tier, but I don't think he's on the level of the C tier guys, and I also don't think he's on the level of the A tier guys. So I'm going to go B tier for him. Bad release, does everything else really well. I just think he doesn't do it to the level of a guy like Wilt or Kareem for me personally at that center position. He's probably the best card in B tier, but I still think he's got to go B tier. Just don't think I can move him up to any higher. The one guy I could consider moving down is Mobamba. Uh, I'll take a look at that real quickly. Just check him out just again because I haven't used this card in a while. But you're looking at a guy with uh, 17 hoffs, limitless takeoff post riser, limitless range, clamp breaker, quick first step, really good defensive badges, good speed for a big, good defender, moves decently well, has quick drops. I don't love, love the release, but he's good enough where he's definitely a B tier guy. He's better than the guys in C tier for sure that's a B tier center and that is going to cap us off for our center tier list let me know what y'all think of my tier list down in the comment section down below like I said I know there's not that many cards on it so if there's any cards I missed my apologies but I hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe I'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and I appreciate y'all peace